Hey guys, you may have seen some of these inexpensive carbon fiber bike parts on eBay and wondered if they're worth the money. Um, I've got just a small sample of carbon parts here to show you, uh, ones that I have a little bit of experience with. Um, you probably started looking at them because they're lighter than your current parts and it's easy to save weight in some of these areas. Um, this is a, a Merrick uh, 27.2 by 350 um, seat post. This is a Hilux 27.2 by 400. This is a, a Carbona carbon saddle, carbon rails, uh, entirely carbon. And this is kind of a, a no-name saddle. Um, the Merrick and the Carbona I have a lot of experience with, but the, the Hilux and, and this no-name I just got recently. So kind of untested. Um, we'll take a look at some weights here just real fast. Um, this no-name saddle, that's uh, 94, 95 grams. The Carbona, uh, it's 118. Uh, Hilux is 179. And the Merrick, is 166. Anyway, the point of this is that um, some of these some of these saddles that come with the with the bikes and uh, and the seat posts are a lot heavier. Um, if you've ever had a bike with a WTB Speed V saddle, those are about 328 grams. So by switching to this saddle, you would save over a half pound. Um, the uh, e even a uh, quality saddle like a specialized body geometry, a lot of those are in the you know 250 to 275 gram range. So um, these saddles would would save you about a third pound, which is quite a bit. Another thing that I do want to mention is these parts are close to the claimed weights. Uh, the, the parts that I bought here, um, they've been within usually about five grams plus or minus of the claimed weights on eBay. So. That's kind of a pleasant surprise. Uh, the cost, these saddles are usually $50 to $100. Um, same with the seat posts. It's fairly easy to find them close to $50. Uh, I've um, put quite a few miles on, on this saddle and this, this post, and, and they've been pretty good. Um, one of the downsides to these parts are that when you order them they come from overseas obviously so shipping time usually takes a while um, this saddle that I just got uh, took 25 days uh, the seat post took about 23 days so <laughs> you've got to be a little bit patient um, and the other big downside is unknown quality um, my experience so far has been positive but uh, you just really don't know. They're made by all sorts of different manufacturers that you really don't know much about. Um, Merrick has some pretty interesting videos on, on their eBay listings where they're really testing the strength of these seat posts. Um, and again, my, my experience has been real positive. Uh, no breaks or anything with any of these parts. Uh, the only reason I'm changing saddles, this one I found a little bit uncomfortable, just the, this particular shape. Uh, this saddle is quite a bit wider, so hopefully it's more comfortable. Um, I will put the details of where I bought these parts in the About section, so you can, you can know where to get them if you, if you need help. Um, one thing I do want to mention is, this is brand new post, again, I just got it yesterday and it's not going to work for these carbon saddles. These types of heads with the, the, the round mechanism, they are made to mount saddles with round rails. Um, here's that specialized body geometry saddle. And you can tell that it's, these rails are round and the carbon saddle rails, they're oval. So they're, they're taller this way so they do not fit in these round heads. So make sure you know that when you're buying these buying these posts. Um, the Merrick has a different clamp style. 
and it will allow for the for the oval saddle rails. So get get this style if you're going to use a carbon saddle. Um, so I'm going to start start using this new saddle, and um, if I have any failures at any of these parts, I will definitely post them in the about section. But I'm really interested in your experiences if you've tried these carbon parts from overseas. Uh, post some comments and let me know what uh, what your experiences are. Um, I'm a big fan of buying stuff in the U.S. that's U.S. manufactured, but we have to be honest with ourselves that most bike parts are made overseas, especially carbon parts, even by the big manufacturers. Um, but I'm thinking about starting to test some of these other carbon parts possibly um, if you have any requests or any any thoughts on parts that I should test uh, please post those in the comments uh, these manufacturers are making all sorts of carbon parts um, obviously saddles, seat posts uh, I think they're making carbon uh, rims now uh, obviously carbon frames and handlebars uh, all sorts of different parts that are worth looking into so I guess uh, the bottom line, in my opinion, is that these carbon fiber parts from overseas uh, off of eBay are worth it. I think they are worth it. Um, I haven't had any problems with them, and they're inexpensive and a great way to save some weight off the bike. So as of right now, I'd recommend that you try them.